Bunky's Workshop crowd. This is Bunky hubby Matthew. And today I'm doing a guest review of the iron that we just got. It is a Panasonic NI-WL600. So you can obviously see it's cordless. It has a resting cradle that is intended to be on your ironing table. And if you should see the controls, you can set it at low, medium, high, and you can press to spray, press to add steam, like a puff of steam, and you have the three controls of the amount of steam that you want. Well, those controls are pretty standard, but one of the things that I wanted to point out that's novel about this sort of thing is, one, obviously it's cordless. And that's a terrific benefit because, as you can see, trying to navigate cords in a small area, in fact, Bunky and I were trying to find outlets around here, which are kind of few and far between, so I really appreciate that. Plus, it gives a certain freedom of movement because a ordinary ironing machine that we have, like this one, often has feet that will allow it to sit up. But then these feet stick out, and I found that I got my cord wrapped around the feet, and that could be a annoyance. So I'm glad that there's nothing of that sort. In fact, if you look at the shape of the iron, you can see it can be held right side up or upside down. So I could be ironing forward or backward and still get the same kind of ironing crease or the same kind of ironing area that I want. So that's really helpful. The other thing is, again, being that it's cordless, then in order to, since it doesn't have a foot like I showed you to put it on when it's resting, you put it back in its cradle. That will keep it constantly charged. And I like that because it will keep it always hot. It's new and you can see that the ironing surface is very clean. And I think it's going to stay that clean for two reasons. One, because Bunky has taught me to iron a lot cooler, so I only iron at medium, maybe sometimes low if necessary. And secondly, because I am, um, in order to use this, you use distilled water in it rather than tap water, which may have impurities. So with this, like typical irons, you see that it has a gauge on the side. It's transparent, so you can see and I need some water and it is designed so that you can add the water while it is in your hand you add the distilled water and it shows you a height well that's a pretty typical feature of irons but it's new for me that they need distilled water now when I iron when I iron pants, I typically use both ends of the iron. Our iron board has this point, which I usually use for the top part of the pants, like so. And then I make the crease and flatten it by putting the leg of the pants folded here against the broadside of the ironing board. And so, if you're going to be ironing, you may, if you're going to be ironing and you're going to use both ends of the board, one thing you might consider is putting it on a side table like so, and that can keep it out of your way so that you're not moving it back and forth and so forth. When I get to shirts, I use this part, the broad part of the ironing board only, 
and so I can put it back up on the ironing board. But the proof is in the pudding, so let's see it at work. So I will put the cradle back on the ironing board. I'm just going to move it back and forth. Now I'm picking it up, and if you notice, I'm holding it backward, but that doesn't matter because there's a point on the back so that I can put it back on the cradle and I don't have to keep turning it around. So there is a convenience for that. And I am ironing slowly so that it will work out the particular steam setting that we want. And so we are making the pants wrinkle free by using the iron. And we're recharging it by putting it back on the cradle. I don't know how good the resolution is, but that's not bad at all. And if you have experience ironing, you may know that ironing black pants can be tricky because if the iron is too hot, it may give them a sheen or if there's any kind of lint or anything like that, of course it's going to show up on black and stick out like a sore thumb. Finally, I think the real proof is in the pudding. Let's look at putting a crease in the leg of these pants. So we'll do that to give you a sense of how well this iron works. So I'm going to iron slowly and work on taking the wrinkles out of this pair of pants. And while I'm taking the wrinkles out, try to add the crease. So I'm going to press a puff to add some steam. One of the really nice things about working with an iron, now, because it has a point at each end, then when you back up, you're less likely to get your clothes to back onto themselves and cause a wrinkle. If you're using an iron that has a flat back, I've noticed that when I bring the iron back, the clothes can gather up and I bring on a wrinkle. Now, I'm going to test, I want to put a little bit of water which sprays, you could see it was a considerable spray, and I'm going to use that to really flatten out this part of the pants. I'll do the other side quickly, but I want to show you how well you can put a crease in the pants by using a iron slowly and just to really put the crease in a puff of steam to make sure it's there for good. Again, a puff of steam and we're really going to put that crease in there. It's got a broad surface, it's lightweight, and because there isn't any schmutz on the plate, then it's very smooth moving it around. Hopefully it stays nice and clear. And there you have it. There is a really pretty nice crease in the pants and I think you'll say these this leg anyway is very nicely I'm not going to give myself the compliment and say professionally 
but certainly putting ironing on it makes a difference. You can see on the left side, the ironed pants, and on the right side, the pants without an iron on them. So the strengths of this are certainly that it's lightweight, that without a cord, it's, I think, a greater freedom of movement. It's more convenient. By not having a foot to place it on, it will allow you to keep recharging it. Having a point on each side will help you to go backward and forward without bunching up the fabric as you bring it. And sometimes when I bunch up the fabric, I end up putting a wrinkle in it. One of the shortcomings, as I said, is, you know, it takes a little getting used to so that you move this back and forth if you're using both the point and the broad side of your ironing board. But I'm extremely pleased with this. I give it a strong recommendation. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how easy it is to find distilled water where you live. It might be a little extra effort to keep filling it with distilled water, but to be honest, I think that's going to keep the plate of the iron clear and clean, and I think that's going to extend the life of it as well as improve your ironing. So I want to say thanks a lot for the gift, and I think it's going to make me have a much more professional appearance. Thanks a lot.